In this video, we'll look at how to acquire data from uh, online source such as the Australian Bureau of Statistics and then use some of this data um, to graph uh, the data and make more sense of it. So let's have a little look at the ABS site, which is www.abs.gov.au. Once you are there, click on Statistics. Move, then scroll down the page to industry and you've got tourism and transport then scroll down again until you find survey of motor vehicles click on that we want to have a look at the downloads which is an Excel spreadsheet and we click on that to get it to download which it does Okay, we're looking, going to look today at Table 6, which is fuel efficiencies of the vehicles on the road. So, let's have a look. The way we can do this is by copying the whole table across to our uh, empty spreadsheet, and then from there, um, deleting the data we want, and then graphing it. So, the way to do this is just click up into the... Um, the area where we want to copy, in this case it's A2, use Control A, which selects the whole spreadsheet of Table 6, copy that, go to our empty spreadsheet, and then we are going to paste it. Right click and paste. And there we have our data. Okay, first thing we do is we only want data from Victoria. So, how do we do that? We just delete the rows by clicking on the row identifier. I'm going to get rid of Victoria as well because that's the only state we have. Again, right click on that area of identifiers and delete. And we can delete the whole rows. Then beyond, below that we can delete everything because we only want Victoria. So we select all of the rows. Let's try that again. into the row identify area right click delete and now we only have Victoria's data now the other thing we do is we don't want to see the percentages so we can delete each of these rows so click on the row the column rather column identifier and delete column identifier on the REC delete um, LPG REC delete and total fuel and total fuel RSC we're going to remove that as well now to actually get this graphed we need to select the data we want to graph first we might just stretch this a little bit here so we can actually see our titles so we select our data by simply selecting it with the left button down. We can then go to insert and a table, uh, a chart rather. We want a bar chart and we want a 3D column chart. So let's click that one. Now this is almost what we want. We can start to see that we've got um, something up here. We don't exactly know what. Um, we've got descriptions of vehicles here and also we've got um, the various colours relating to the various fuel vehicle users. Now we don't want this, we actually want the legend which is here on the right hand side. We want then also um, uh, titles for our charts and we want to put a chart title on the whole thing and titles for our axes. How do we do that? Well, we go to chart tools and design which were there, the quick layout and here's the one we want with our axis titles and our um, legend on the right hand side. So we click that. Axis title, let's type in this one. This one will be type of vehicle
and then this one will be liters per 100 kilometers. Chart title. Well, what is the chart title? It's a survey of motor vehicle use and fuel economies. So what we can do, we can actually copy this top one, right click, copy, go to the chart title, select our text in here, then paste with a control C. Try again. Try that again, select this, control C to copy, get our title, control V, and there is our um, heading, it's just too big for this at the moment, so what we can do, and we'll get rid of this format chart title, is we can delete this part of what we want, there we go, um, vehicle use and fuel economy there's a heading it tells us when it was ended it tells us what it's doing um, this chart is probably a bit small so what we need to do is stretch it so that we increase the size and as we do you can easily see most of the bars now and start to see a real comparison between each bit of data we've got on our graph and that basically is how to produce a bar graph using Excel.